guys welcome back to my channel this is empress radio so i want to talk about martel he's clapping back at melody's makeup artist after that terrible interview that he did with tasha k so you guys know how it all started with tasha k making this post before the interview and then martel he reposted it on on his instagram so he said all this time y'all thought she was the victim hashtag men cry in silence and then tasha k made this uh psa to her winos update due to the graphic nature of the receipts that martel hope provided us to support his truth in our interview today we will re release two versions of his interview and on friday a third version with emails and texts um the version tonight on youtube will feature his story with a blurred visuals of alleged graphic videos of a dv occurrences done by his ex-wife hashtag melody hope which is prohibited on youtube and on TashaKLive.com, you will see the, those graphic videos in full and unedited. Both shows will go live at 7 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. Um, hashtag Martel Holt says he's done protecting his ex-wife to y'all tonight. So the interview was terrible. He really, like, got up there and came for his own kids. Like, he said how, how they were being bad. Like, they were really bad after they spent 56 days with Melody because she has no structure. That he handles his house like, um... A military school or something like you know they have to like tell him like yes sir and stuff which is like problematic in itself but i'm not getting into that um but yeah so he also alluded that sugar mama wasn't his like he said that that she looked like melody a lot and the other three kids looked like him but he kept saying like and this was in response to tasha k asking if he questioned her if, if he needed a dna test then like is destiny the one like i'm i'm like putting this out here right now was destiny the one who told him that because he said that one of melody's ex-friends who's not friend anymore said that martel needed a dna test because of what melody was doing behind the scenes that he didn't know about and i'm like destiny i know you are not getting up here because man we would the internet will drag you i hope you weren't the one who said that um but yeah so he's like just coming for the kids and talking about melody like just being all degrading alleging that melody was putting her hands on him and stuff like and if he if she did so what like no one cares martel um like if she did she so what and you got this attorney's name all out here and stuff like you just be doing the most martel you know so anyways that brings me to today's video so um jay taylor is melody's makeup artist so you guys know tasha k asked him if at the reunion he had a fight and he's like no i know i didn't have a fight knowing that tasha k was probably talking about a previous reunion when martel allegedly came for jay taylor and was like trying to fight him and stuff and he's just crazy and unhitched he even in his backwards way admitted to um coming for melody staff on behind every man when they were filming because he said melody took him off the builders or business license or whatever and he was mad Anyway, so Jay Taylor responded to the interview and was like, this is deplorable. His children will never forgive him for this with some crying emojis. Martel responded, you weak slash soft man. You inserted yourself in my business way too much. So it's okay for the kids to see their dad being arrested because of a text message I sent her in 2022 and she filed charges 11 months later or her line to all y'all about me abusing my son and having them taken away for 56 days. The courts got the truth. Boy, you better shut the F up. So that sounds like a threat to me. Jay Taylor also commented, um, child, if it is anything before 2020, who cares? This man is unhinged and has consistently shown the public who uh, he is and was. Uh, we are not going to sit here and believe this man was abused. He is a walking provoker and how she decides to respond is warranted based on his behavior. I've never seen someone who cheated and got uh, a baby be so angry. Just be build a new life with your new family. At this point, we all want peace. Move on. It's over. It seems that his decisions are never centered around his children. Melody's children will suffer great emotional trauma after this. He also says, why didn't he file his report? Why were uh, the authorities never called? He's a liar and yes i agree martel is a liar <laughs> like he's just a mess like he really is deplorable like i can't believe some of the stuff he was saying and how low he decided to go like asking melody when's the last time she sucked someone's d and stuff and then like tasha k actually um playing an audio recording of melody being like three years ago or whatever like who cares you guys have been divorced for years now like just let it go martel like you're with arion right she's your girl right like she's your other woman <laughs> like that's not even a flex or anything um to say you know you got this girl being dragged and you supposedly love her like what is wrong with you martel like like he said like just focus on your family 
Um, but yeah, so I just couldn't believe the stuff he was saying about his own kids and his own daughter. Like Sugar Mom is so sweet. And like Melody said before, she thought Mel uh, Martel thought that Sugar Mom was going to keep them together when she got pregnant. And it did the opposite. It gave her strength, you know. And that's what a lot of people's kids uh, give to them. You know, people always like make fun of people who are like, oh, you know, I love my kid, you know, and they focus on their kid more than uh, any other man and stuff. It's because your kids are the ones who have been there for you and you're you're having to support them while the man is putting you through all this. And, you know, you have to find your strength for the kids, you know, and Martel, he knows that he knows that Melody loves him and he takes like he takes that her kids being her soft spot and he takes advantage of that. And he uses his uh, her kids to hurt him. He's just a terrible person all the way around. I couldn't believe some of the stuff you saying in this interview with Tasha K and Tasha K like you are just the worst person ever like to go along with this and like just kiki and laugh while he's saying all kind of disgusting things about his kid like in the Dr. Heavenly interview like we could like put it to the fact that Dr. Heavenly was like fishing or something when she said like oh did you think sugar mama wasn't yours um Martel's like oh um she got an abortion and that's the reason that um that's the baby that I questioned no sugar mama I wasn't questioning her but in this uh interview you're like oh um she looks just like uh uh, Melody, she doesn't look like me. The other three kids look like me. That's all I'm saying is, you know, and then somebody, one of Melody's friends told me to get a DNA test because Melody was sleeping around with that attorney. Like, are is he conflicting the timelines? Because I'm pretty sure the attorney stuff happened after that when they were like going through a divorce and separation because that's why they were in court and needed an attorney, right? Am I wrong? Like when she... Uh, conceived sugar mama like that stuff wasn't going on and it was like Christmas and they were like all happy and stuff I remember those pictures and stuff that came out Martel got Ariane pregnant after that and that's when like everything went bad and stuff you know like Martel is just like <laughs> he's the worst he's like conflicting storylines like making t timelines different you know like making it seem like Melody was like cheating and stuff he was calling her all kind of like bees and like bitches in the in the um interview like why are you calling this lady out of her name and stuff like I get you're mad that she put you in jail but you put yourself in jail because you're the one who sent that threatening text message and did you guys hear that he pretty much like admitted to the text message and everything he just said that he didn't have no video like you admitted that you're you done this like he really was incriminating himself the whole interview like I'm wondering if Tasha K knew this and like did this to like give Martel enough rope to you know unalive himself and so to speak because like Martel just fell right into it he's just a terrible person I couldn't believe the stuff that he was saying he's so vile and disgusting but and the bad thing is like I said the kids are old enough to go to school and they'll be talking about this interview so that's the sad part about this whole situation yeah. anyways what do you guys think about this drop your comments below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos from empress radio okay bye